Let's begin by opening a browser window and heading over to EndlessTools.io. If it's your first time using the site, you'll need to create a free account. Or you can go ahead and log in if you've been here before. Once you sign in, you'll be brought to your dashboard. And here you can see the three main tools within this suite. The first is the type tool. This lets you create text and word-based three-dimensional objects with all sorts of interesting styling formats. We also have a cover tool which works mainly with photos and allows you to add some really crazy wild effects to images that are included or ones that you upload on your own. We then have an object tool and a shape tool. These are both libraries of 3D files that you can fully customize. For the most part, they are abstract or simple shapes. The best way to wrap your head around this is to just dive in and play. And so we're gonna do that now using the shape tool. So I'm gonna hover over shape tool and choose start project. And here you can see I'm brought into my editor. I can see my three dimensional shape and by dragging on it, I can turn it around at all angles. I can zoom in and out by sliding up and down on the toolbar to the right. And then I have various other options in these floating windows on the left and right hand side. First of all, we can change the shape that we're using by tapping on the shape icon just beneath. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of abstract shapes and icons in here that you can work with. There's some really interesting and fun ones that will allow you to make a pretty neat file on your own. Of course, though, you can add your own shape by uploading an SVG file that you download from another source online or you create yourself in a tool like Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to use one of the built-in shapes. So I'm going to scroll down and find something interesting that we can work with, perhaps um, one of these really unique uh, abstract shapes. And there you see it. I can move it around and see it from all angles. And I can even tap on the settings button on the bottom to control how deep it is, as well as some other factors like the segmentation of the shape, which doesn't do a lot for this particular shape, but with some of the other ones, it'll really change the appearance. Additionally, I have this smooth option, but that's not really relevant for this particular shape. So I have the depth where I want it. Maybe it's a little bit too deep. And so I'm going to close that toolbar. Now I can turn over to my textures. And on the left hand side, you see all these spheres, which is typically how you show three dimensional object textures or finishes. And you can see they're broken into different categories from basic to glass and dynamic, metal, etc. I'm just going to grab this green texture here so you can get a sense of what it looks like. Now, within any texture, I have options which I can control in this floating toolbar including the appearance, how rough it appears, how the pattern repeats or does not repeat, how powerful the environment is, and different projection types, all of which control the ultimate experience. So you can spend quite a bit of time playing around with these different settings to create a really unique object with a really interesting texture. There are dozens to look at, and they're all really unique and can create some amazing uh, products here. So I'm going to go and choose something fairly simple. I'm going to go back to my wood texture and we'll tweak it a little bit. I'm going to change the scale of my texture, maybe make the environment a little more powerful. And that looks pretty natural. And so now all I need to do is download it. And this is what I love about this tool is I'm able to for free download this object as either an image with a transparent or specific color background or a 3D object in USDZ format. And that's what I'm going to download right now. So I'll click export and my file will automatically download. Now here's what I love about these USDZ files is they can be easily incorporated into all of your Apple apps, whether you're on an iPad or a Mac. And that means you can use these three-dimensional files in everything from a pages or numbers document to a freeform board and even into keynote presentations. And just to give you a sense of what you can actually do with them, I've created a new keynote here. And I'm going to begin by choosing media 
and I'm going to choose. And I want to select that USDZ file that I just created using Endless Tools. And you can see I can bring it right onto my canvas here. And not only that, I can use this icon in the center to rotate it to different angles, depending on how I want it to look. Now that's great and all, but what's really powerful is the ability to then animate this object using the Magic Move animation. So I'm going to put my object in one place on my first slide, then I'm going to duplicate my slide. And on the second slide, I'm going to move it somewhere else, but I'm not just going to move it, I'm going to rotate it, and I might even make it a little bit bigger. And we'll put it over on the side here, that looks pretty cool. Now, just to kind of finalize things, I'm going to go ahead and add some text. Let's just put a simple word in here. I'm just going to say the word create, and we will make it nice and large. We'll put it in an interesting uh, font face. Let's use this one. Uh, okay, and I will just tweak the way it looks, maybe make it a little heavier. Okay, and we're also going to make it a little bit transparent just to give it some more drama. All right, so I have that on my second slide. I'm also going to go back and add it on my first slide, but on my first slide, I'm going to move it all the way off to the left and I'm going to make it totally transparent. So now I have one slide with my object and my text box, and then the second slide with the same object and text box, but in different positions. Now on that first slide, I'm gonna add a magic move transition. Okay, and you can already see the effect that is created, and I'm going to just tweak it a little bit and move this over a little bit. Um, I'm also going to change the acceleration. If you don't have this setting on your device, if you check out my other videos, you will see how to turn on the uh, acceleration curves within Keynote, which really allows you to create some amazing effects. And we are going to preview again, and we have created something like that, which is very neat. I'm just going to change my arrangement and move my 3D object all the way to the front on both sides and preview it again, and there we go. So all of that in about two minutes with a custom 3D shape, with a custom animation, allows you to create some amazing content. And remember, these USDZ files will work in all of your Apple apps and can really add some neat layers to your creations.